This may just be the most ambitious video I've ever tried to film. I am gonna to go to four football matches in this one video today. It is Saturday and it doesn't often happen that four fixtures in the same area are on at specific times so you can get to all four. But it has been agreed with the East of Scotland League and the Lowland League today in order to have this ground hopping weekend. There's some people up from England who try to arrange this weekend once a year up here in Scotland, I do believe. And I'm gonna be tagging along. There's a coach load of people going. There's also many, many enthusiasts who will just be going on their own. I'll just be driving in between each stadium. It's gonna be a long day. I was up until 2 a.m. last night um, editing and uploading my Tyne Castle vlog that is now up. And yeah, that was in and around this area. I had to drive home and I'm all the way back here. I woke up at eight o'clock this morning. So I've had about six hours sleep, which isn't too bad. But yes, in this video, we are gonna watch four football matches. I have no idea how it's gonna come together. Usually I know the format of a match day vlog, obviously, get there. Um, I'm usually there by now. Let me tell you what the time is right now when the first kickoff time is. It's 20 past 10 right now and kickoff for the first game is quarter past 11. We're in the town where we need to be, Dunbar, but I'm usually at a game way earlier than this and I'm not even at the stadium yet. So um, today's gonna be a mad one. I don't know how it's all gonna come together. I hope you enjoy it. It's gonna be long. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you aren't already. I was recently over in Northern Ireland and um, I was chatting to a load of lads at a game. They were like, we're subscribed. They checked their phones and they weren't subscribed. So just check down there. If you're not, please just hit that button. It really, really helps me out. A lot of effort goes into these videos, especially this one today. Four football matches, one day, let's go. Keep heading straight that way and you'll eventually get to Norway. And the amazing thing about this weekend's games and these all four games in the one day is that I've never been to either of the four stadiums for a game. So they're all unique stadiums I'll be ticking off in the one day as well. I absolutely love to tick off new grounds and see new towns and stuff. It's a lovely seasidey town on the east side of Edinburgh. And um, yeah, it's amazing that all the hundreds of grounds I've been to, I forget where I park now, hundreds of grounds I've been to, I've never been to either of the four that we'll be seeing today for a match anyway. So first up today is Dunbar United against Coldstream, East of Scotland, First Division. And the stadium is just through here. You reckon? Oh, Grant, have you ever done one of these ground hopping Never weekends before? before? No, nah, nothing like this. No, have you got any tips for me on what I could maybe um, do or how I can get through it? You're best just leaving it full time with everyone, get in there for the kick off of the next one. So it's a full force day, you're going to be running about mad. But you know, it's a good game of football, hopefully. Um, hopefully, you'll get four good games, lots of goals, but we'll see what happens. And what do you think of like the ground hopping community in general, especially the guys who have I come all this brilliant. way from England to do this? Aye, like it was brilliant, especially in the non league, given the club's exposure. You know, they put on, was, like I've been to Dunbar before and I never had as much merchandise for sale that day because I knew. Yeah, and look at that on. stand as well. What do you make of that? Like, I think it's brilliant. Like, it's uh, funded by the fans itself, so they all got together and, you know, invested heavily in it. And it's a good wee stand for this level of football. You'd expect something like that even in League Two, but. Aye, so far so good here at Dunbar, it's my second time and um, there's a lot of stadiums to visit today. It's a nice stadium and so how many goals do you reckon I'm going to see today, all day? Oh, hang on, Oh, nearly seen one there. Um, <laughs> how many goals all day do you reckon? Well obviously you're doing Haddington and I'm doing Bonnerig but I think you might see about 16, I'm going to go 18, eh, 14 for myself sorry. Okay, perfect mate, nice one. <laughs> Thoughts on the linesman's attire? I mean, casual as we want it. <laughs> What's it like supporting Dunbar? What are they like as a club? It's great, yeah. Good local games. Cool club, good local games. What do you think of the linesman as well? Like no proper linesman, just a bloke with a, with a flag yeah. basically. It's funny, isn't it? Um, and so today playing cold stream, yeah. you're a lot higher than them in the table. What do you think the score will be in this one? Start over here, what do you reckon? 3-0. Uh, 3-0? 3-1. 3-1 and? 2-0 toss. Oh, you missed both the reds yesterday? <laughs> Oh God, there's been another red card here as well. So Paul, we were just chatting away, but just for everyone watching, there's been another red card. I don't know what it's for, maybe a bad tackle. There was two yesterday and now one today. 
So I don't know what I'm going to film match footage wise today because I'm sure you probably don't want to watch too much just footage from the games. I'll try and get some obviously but um, I want to show you sort of what's going on in and around today as well. We've got the whole train track going over there but there's a massive badge stall here which I'm sure is making an absolute killing today. Let's have a look. Yes, yes, mate. How are you? Oh, bro. <laughs> nice to meet you, mate. How you I doing? I really keep meaning to subscribe to you because I watch all your stuff. Are you a Dunbar I'm, fan? Eh? Are you a Dunbar supporter? Oh, no, no. I'm a, I'm a Hibs fan. Oh, okay. That lives in Pennycook. Right. And is a Berwick Speedway fan. Right then, Terry. What badges have we got? I could spend hours looking at these. If the game gets boring. So are these all your Scottish non-leaguers here then, are they? I thought Scottish non-leaguers. Ah, yeah. brilliant. Okay. Nice Tyne Castle. Got one of them last night. I was full up this morning. Really? As you can see, yeah, we sold a few. Getting yeah. through them, yeah. Making an absolute killing today, I'm sure, here, right? It's always the same. First game's always busy. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, you know, not too busy at the rest of the Are you game. going to all four games yeah, today? Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Well, try anyway, mate, depending on whether I can get in. Here we go, what are we going to get? I, I feel like I've got to get one or two from you. Right, I've been to yeah. Tolbert quite a few times. Yeah, take them off, mate. So, could I take a Tolbert? Take a along, yeah. We'll take a Tolbert, and how about... I know Darvel have done well on the old... Yeah, they've done well, They've they? done well this year. They beat Aberdeen. That was a big video for me. Oh, we'll get that. yeah, that was. Tolbert, Darvel. We'll get one more as well. We'll do three. Oh, I like Irvin Meda. I like Gala Feridine as well. <laughs> oh, it's Kelty. I think I've got some Kelty stuff already, though. Preston you Spartans. You never know when he, he sticks Kelty hearts in the back of his video. I do love Kelty hearts. Oh, I don't know who to choose here. We've got a Tyne Castle last night. We're seeing Trinent later. Got socky last night, someone gave me that. Oh, decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. Just right? by the ones you've been to. Do you know what? I've been to Bucky Fissel as well. We'll get a Bucky. Yeah, Bucky. Bang. Yeah. There we go. So I'll have a Bucky, a Tolbert, and a Darvel off you, okay, please, mate. mate. How much that be? For you. Uh, Thank nine, you. Nine pounds. Nine pounds, okay. It's Terry, right? Yeah. And so we've just been chatting off camera. We're from sort of similar area down south. Yeah. Um, but this is your living, right? You make a living out of yeah. selling badges all around the country and stuff. Yeah. What got you into it? It was my hobby. Um, I'm a chairmaker by trade. Worked at Erco, which you might have heard of. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the badges got bigger and bigger. I have a store at Wimbledon. I've done Wickham ones with in the past. Unfortunately, this year we both got the same picture, so I can't do Wickham. Yep. But I do uh, memorabilia fairs. Yep, amazing. Ground ops. Um, and yeah, it just took off. And uh, non league is. Uh, oh, we've missed a chance, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Non league's amazing, yeah. Yeah, non league is uh, the big. People have such a passion for it, don't they? And what do you yeah. think of the, the ground hopping weekend here? Like, oh, you must yeah. have had loads of them coming oh, yeah. up and trying we, to buy badges, we've right? We've done quite a few Scottish hops now, so uh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, a good week to come up. What, and what? for an Englishman, then, last question for you, and I'll let you get on. What's been your favourite Scottish ground you've ever visited? Ah, oh, favourite Scottish. Oh, it is, um, Put you on the spot. I think it's got to be uh, that one. Camelon Juniors? Yeah, because they got a lot. It, it's an old ground. Yeah. Old terrace in old stands, proper old school. Nice, program, I like so, it. Um, yeah. Half time here, nil nil, and uh, look at it, it's nice ground. And I think um, a little bit subdued in here, maybe on the pitch as well, just because the nature of the early kickoff, 11 15, obviously. Um, it has been a red card though, but yeah, see you in the second half. Finally seen a goal. I know, yeah. <laughs> what minute do you reckon we're in? Yeah. What minute do you reckon we're in? 60? 70? Oof. Close to a nil nil, but one nil cold stream. Pen to Dunbar. Only took 78 minutes, but yeah. That rain. Not long left in this first game. Dunbar and the black and white, the home team, are third in the league. I think Cold Stream are right down there, so it's a shock that they are currently winning. Obviously, they've got an extra man, but here we go. Oh! Red card. Second red card for Dunbar. 
It's usually at this point in the video where I'm wrapping things up and telling you about the game and asking you to subscribe and watch more videos. But um, yeah, we've one down and three to go. Um, I'm gonna have to put my camera now on charge in the car. There's a little USB thing. I think it's got like 60% left on that camera, my main one that I film the games on and stuff. So yeah, I can still chat on my GoPro. I still got some battery on this. Um, these are the things you gotta think about on these big ground hopping weekends i suppose right, i'll get get my cable out and drive to the next one wrap up that game quickly yeah good win for cold stream bit of a shock i thought there wasn't going to be a goal there still not seen a nil nil all season let's hope we don't have one today that was close just then i feel like but yeah two red cards for dunbar um again i may have said it when i was in there i don't know how much of like the game footage i'm going to show from these videos um from these games for this one video um i want to show you sort of the things around it a little bit more as well hopefully we can chat to one or two more cool characters at the next game how cool were the badges that was my highlight for that place was the badges what will be the highlight for the next round let's go find out. So it's currently 20 past one in the afternoon. Kickoff for the next game is at two. We're 13 minutes until we're there. So yeah, we're actually started off furthest away from where I actually live, which is nice. It's the very furthest part on the east coast there, past Edinburgh. We're now heading back towards Edinburgh now. Haddington is next, then Trenent, then Musselburgh. This is like one of my ground hopping videos that I do where I just visit random stadiums in a day, but we've got games at the mall as well. Let's overtake the Honda Jazz and get there, come on. We may have to go through here. Oh, God, lucky I'm small. Here we go, we've made it through. Is this Haddington? Yes, I think it is. Everyone's parking here on the grass. Anyway, is it through this way? Hi, I'm Tom Thornton, I'm the secretary at Harrington Athletic. Uh, been in this role for 20 years nearly, uh, been in the committee for the best part of 40, so yep. yeah, very much embedded in the Harrington Athletic uh, scene. Nice, it looks like an amazing park, got a grass pitch of course, which you don't always get at this level, and some lovely views as well. What is the little tower just over there? So well? that's, uh, so the ground is called Millfield, uh, these are, well that's an old mill, uh, I'm afraid I'm not tremendously yep. knowledgeable in the finer detail. I think it was a woolen mill, obviously the River Tyne's just over there that uh, powered the mills that uh, gave the ground its name. Yep. Uh, we've been here since 1972, previously we played at um, Brewery Park, which is maybe 200 yards away, that was taken over in 1969 okay. for the local primary school. Um, so we've been here 50 years, going well, 51 years now nearly. Uh, the environment has changed quite a lot in recent years, obviously the change from junior football to the, yep, the pyramid, um, system, to the yeah, pyramid yeah. system has encouraged us really to, to tidy things up. Uh, it was always a nice ground, but it's come on a great deal over the last five years or so. Uh, the environment has changed, this nursing home there, that's only been put up in the last four or five years. Um, but yeah, there was a guy, uh, it was an English ground topper visitor a few years ago, Andy Fury, I think by name, I know, a Geordie comic, if I remember rightly. Yeah. He used the term obscenely pretty. So the weather's maybe not the best it could be today, but uh, yeah, so ground, it's a yeah. very nice pastoral feel to it. Great place to play a football. And uh, yeah, John, John Henderson, I mentioned, our groundsman who's been maintaining the ground uh, yep. for the last couple of years. It's come on leaps and bounds. I think the post-COVID factor has helped a lot of clubs at yep. our level, possibly in terms of interest. But uh, yeah, we're uh, really proud of the proud of the environment. Great. And nice how much does it help today, obviously, having like the ground top uh, weekend come it's to your club? It's a fantastic opportunity to highlight the, the club, uh, the ground, and this level of football. So obviously the guys uh, would have enjoyed the goings on at uh, Tyne Castle last night, yep. uh, or Megatland to be more precise, the Tyne Castle soccer game. Dunbar Coldstream uh, this morning. East Lothian's a nice part of the world. You'll, you can only love it. Uh, Trenent and Musselburgh are good places to go as well. So, yeah, it's fantastic. We're on a good run of form, doing really well in the in the game generally. Perfect. And this is uh, yeah a real a real opportunity to, to showcase what Millfield and Harrington are about. You three are all up from England for the Groundhog Weekend, yeah. is that right? Yeah. Just explain how it's been so far. Oh, it's been good. Just been good to see different grounds and different towns and all that sort of thing. And being good game last night was good, but the one today so far wasn't wasn't as good. Yeah, at least we saw a 
bit of yeah. action towards the end. Yeah, there was a goal, the penalty, and well, a couple of red cards as well. Yeah. 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 And what have your impressions been on the three grounds? Obviously, Tyne Cole saw last night, the one from today and this one just now. What's been your favourite so far? I'll probably say last night's one. Yeah. Oh no, Dunbar, yeah. definitely. Dunbar, what, this one. This one, it's all different. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I like this ground as well, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of colour, I like it's the quaint. golden nets. I like yeah. the chimney. Just yeah. like... We have official linesman at this one. Oh, oh. Yes. We've had a goal. <laughs> what do you think, boys? 1 0 already? Away team ahead, is it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Great yeah. Great goal, yeah. See the same people. Oh. 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 Tick attacker in his own box. I've just been chatting to a ground up. There's been another goal. It's 2 0 to the away side. Look at that. What an amazing turnout. But they wouldn't get that many people here normally. Look at that, all the people around there and around here as well. Keep us fuming. For anyone who wishes to participate. Right, boys, Haddington fans, yeah? Yeah. You're locals. Uh, yeah. What's the best part about supporting Haddington then? Is that like the ultras? The ultras, is that you boys? Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Where's the flares for today? Oh, We're no, saving them for next Friday against Mossy. My name's Paul Clayton. I'm co-editor of Brown Tastic, Football Grounds magazine. Um, and I'm on the hop, yep. like you. What have you thought of the grounds so far? Um, Tyne Castle, brilliant. Megatland, I uh, really enjoyed that last night. It's obviously a rugby ground, um, but fantastic. Proper terracing, proper stand. Um, a really good feel about it. Yep. Uh, this morning at Dunbar. Dunbar, I yeah. I like it, yeah, nice little place. Um, they've done some improvements there in the last year or so, put up the stand. Um, had a good feel about it, but well kept. Really enjoyed it there. The people were very friendly. The game wasn't great, but you know, the ground was yep. good. We saw a goal and a couple of reds at least. We, yeah, we saw yep. a goal in the end. And so far here at Haddington, again, it's a, it's a nice little uh, location. Yep. Um, the, uh, you know, the people that run the club have obviously put a lot of effort in and yep. it shows yep. and, uh, and obviously we've seen a couple of goals here as well of so course and what do you so think far. of the ground hopper community in general and what do you think that a lot of the sort of people that come on these trips what do you think they get out of a trip like this um i think you get different types of people but obviously generally we are people that enjoy football grounds because that's why we do it um and there are a mix of people and you know you can have people that have got fairly sort of high powered jobs to people that you know um, haven't but yeah. I think that that's you know, everyone gets walks on alive. and it's a yeah. community you know regardless of the backgrounds of the people that come it is a great community and um, you know I think it, it does a lot for people to, to you know give them a purpose really. yeah. Yeah, mate, that was last night. You're subscribed as well, mate. You're a legend, my man. Thank you so much. Cheers. Have I missed the goal? I don't know. There's not long left. Um, again, I'm almost not too fussed about showing you too much match footage. It's more about the journey, what I need to do and how I need to get there and who I need to speak to and stuff. We need to head back through the hedge, which will take me out to the road and where I'm parked. I didn't park in this little uh, grassy area here. This stadium here feels such like a little sort of village green kind of like summer fate vibes. It's really nice this place and you have to come and visit it. Um, where is the hedge? Where did I come through? Oh I think someone... Was this it? Was it further up here? Oh man I've lost where I came out the hedge. It might be up here. Um, but yeah, I desperately need to charge my stuff. I really want to transfer some of the files from my cameras to my computer as well. I do have my laptop with me today in the old bag. Here we go. We found the, the hedge hole. We've got to go back through. Oh, we're through. Um, but yeah, this seems like a really nice little town actually. Um, but I want to sort of get my stuff charged before the next game. The next game's the biggest one. Um, it's Trenent in the Lowland League. I've never seen them play before. You guys will know how much I love the Lowland League. 
and um, Trinent are doing really well in it this year. Spartans drew a Celtic last night, so Trinent could still technically win the Lone League, go up to League Two. So, massive game tonight, and they're playing fairly local rivals, Bonus United. We'll find out a bit more about it when we're there, obviously. So, yeah, see you down there shortly. Also, shout out to the people at Haddington for giving me a scarf. Absolute legends. Your man is desperate for some scrand. We've only had that sausage roll all day. Look at that, we're charging the camera as we go. I've never really had to do this too. Obviously I have to charge my stuff sometimes, but it's been relentless today. Two games down, two to go. I've just done a little bit of editing, transferred some of the files. Yeah, look, we've got the power bank hooked up right now. About to have my meal deal before we head into ground number three of the day. This has been a bit of a blur. Um, if I'm honest now, it's starting to feel that way. But excited though, this one's um, obviously the biggest of the three in terms of like, like I say, like the standings and stuff. And this is probably, whoa, look at this house. Nice place. Um, but yeah, this is probably the biggest, like this is probably a video that could probably do all right as a standalone video um, coming to see Trinent play, especially where they are this season. Um, I'm going to have to do some um, Lowland League roundup videos like as the season progresses. Just trying to think, am I going the right way here? I think so. That's obviously not it there. There's some Astros with some lads playing, but I think the actual stadium is just a little bit further on around there. Trinent Ultras, yeah? yeah? Yeah. How's the atmosphere usually here then? Good. It's all right. It's, all right, it's usually pretty good. And you just got promoted last season from the East of Scotland League to the Lowland League. Yeah. And you're already looking like you could potentially win the Lowland League as well. Do you reckon you'll go up this season to League Two, back to back promotions? Big, big ask, but I think we can do it. Yeah, because obviously you've got the playoffs to play as well if you do win the league. And so today you're playing Bonest, bit of a rivalry between you two? A little bit, yeah. It'll be a, it'll be a tougher game than people think, but I will I can get it done. What do you reckon the score will be? 2 0. 2 0. 2 1. 2 1. 3 1. We're about to kick off here in the Lowland League game. I'm really excited to be here actually. This is a stadium that I've been meaning to come to for a long time. Obviously, with um, this team, Trinent, getting promoted last season from the East of Scotland League to the Lowland League, um, it's quite a big story. And the fact they're doing so well as well, they could be in League Two. Obviously, <laughs> yeah, I'm finally here at Trinent, mate. I know. Um, I've obviously covered like Kelty Hearts a lot and their rise. I've spoke about the teams like Cove, FC Edinburgh, and who's the other team that's come up? It slipped my mind now. Obviously, uh, Bonnie Wig Rose, who obviously aren't doing so well actually in, in the leagues. But um, I love to chart the journeys of these new clubs that come into the league system. And Trinent could be the next one. Spartans are still up there in the Lowland League. But yeah, it's great to see these new clubs come up and, um, and do well in higher divisions. Oh, you're both in. You're both in, you're all both right. in. So I think you get in the Iron Brewing, mate. You yeah. come all this way from Wales, you have to have a can of Iron you Brew, don't you? have to have a can of Brew, absolutely. Of and course. And a macaroni pie as well. And a macaroni pie. How have you enjoyed the Scottish Stadium so far? We've, we've, we've enjoyed it immensely. You're welcomed here, aren't you? You're not seen as a customer like you maybe oh, are on no. the bigger grounds. Oh, yeah. You're seen as like an actual proper yeah, supporter yeah, or a fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah in absolutely. High, in some higher up, for example, Premier League in the, in the English tiers, you're more seen as a... As where you get money from. Yep. The lower down you go, you probably could say maybe like League One or, or Championship to some extent in the English system. Yep. You're more of um, like a fan, you're seen as some part of the community in a way. Yep. But here they properly, properly value oh, the non league. Yeah. yeah. Like you, you couldn't question their um, work ethic and, and um, welcome that you get in these. I mean, um, in this sort of division and this tier of, of football, yeah. Oh, the defender did enough. Oh. He's offside. Oh. He's offside, yes. He's offside, you can tell. Called it. Huh? I called, called it. it, absolutely. Bonus United, isn't it? Yeah, well. So, mate, the Haddington game at the end, yeah. I shot off a little bit early. I missed, you say, a red card and it finished, what, 3-1? 3-1. 3-1 to Don Donald Bluebell. Bluebell and um, what were you just saying then, the attendance, what was it? 462. That's pretty good for, for them. I'm sure they're buzzing with that. I think there's probably over a 1,000 at this one. Yeah. And considering how many people are crammed in this Yeah, look at everyone, it's just started raining. Yeah. So. You say that, you look at the hops, yeah. what we do. So, we did the North West Counties hop a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. There was, at Ecclesaw, there was like 400 
than 50, yeah. normally they get 50. Yeah, yeah. So like hops bring yeah, in a helps, lot of people, yeah. And there's not so. just the coach, is it? It's the people no, coming so like, like you guys, yeah. Normally, yeah. And then you've got the coach as well. Yes, yeah. So. And so what are your impressions of uh, Trinent then? I didn't realise it was three-sided, but it's still very, very good. Yeah, you can't get behind that goal over there, can you? But no. It's decent, yeah. Good shot! Half time, nil, nil. Let's hope the second half livens up. I feel I've said that a lot in these last few videos, but great turnout here. I'd love to know what the attendance is. Big game for Trinent. Um, yeah, see you in the second half. Grant, it's been quite the journey today. Oh. When I saw you in the first game, yeah, you've yeah. been off to Bonnie Rig. I went to Bonnie Rig over Haddington, yeah. How was that? It was okay, 1 1. I mean, we didn't lose, we put in a good performance, but a fair result in the end, I think. Yeah. Was really a good result. And you're still going to do, obviously, this one is your third game of the day. You're still yeah. going to do one tomorrow. So what do you get out of ground hopping like this? Uh, I just had a passion for checking out non league grounds, you know. I mean, I do like the lower leagues, but especially in non league, I think this season I've really developed a passion for it, like you said there. Like, I mean, seeing all these non league grounds. Putting something back in the club's definitely helping out. So um, yeah, and obviously Bonnerig are my team, but I do like helping out non-league clubs and visiting them where I can. You know, put on my Twitter feed. So yeah, you're a big champion of the non-league football, mate. I like it. Yeah, a massive fan. Big T boys, is this the uh, ultras here? Yeah. Oh, what a goal! I've actually captured a goal. Yeah, I've missed so many of them in this, this weekend, but. There's a lot of people from England here today to see your team. What do you think about like the stadium and like the atmosphere in general and stuff? Yeah, good place to come watch football. And you're losing currently. Do you think you can turn it around? Yeah. What's the score going to be? Um, I think it'll be a two-one-one. Two-one. Two-one. He's going for two-one. Nice. Nice. Jeez! Late Trinent goal. Oh. Oh, must be so last minute. Well, yeah, what minute are we in now? Do you know? Well, it's quarter to seven. Quarter to seven. So, you're, you're probably late here from there. Oh, 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 well into stoppage time now, Trinent almost won it here. <laughs> oh! 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 What an exciting end to the game, right. Look, everyone's off. One more to go, mate. We're almost there, how are you feeling? Good. <laughs> ready for it? Yeah, mate. It's been some day. I am ready He's for trying it. To convince me to go Hopefully this is a high scoring one. Yeah, I oh know we're still waiting for a high scoring, aren't we? I missed the goal. No red card in that one though. Surprising. The first of the day. First Surprise. of the day. Right, I'll see you down there. Look at this, it's getting dark and cold now. It feels like a long time since I was at the beach at the very start of this video, but I thought I'd be more tired and more exhausted than this. Maybe it's the Iron Brew energy drink that I got from my fantastic Asda dinner there um, that's keeping me going, but really enjoying this. Three games out of um, four so far, we've got one to go. I don't know if it'll be during that one that I'm sort of knackered and just waiting for it to end, but um, that was an enjoyable game of football. Some really cool people to talk to. Really glad to have finally ticked off Trinent and the other two, of course. But yeah, Trinent was sort of a big one in my mind for this uh, for this day. Um, but that big goal at the end for them, rescuing it, they almost got the winner as well, didn't they? But they needed that win. Spartans drew yesterday and um, they just drew today. They could have won today and really, really been in the title race. But yeah, where am I parked? Oh, I'll head back out onto the main road, back into the old car and head off to Musselburgh.
Oh, that last little bit of journey quite took it out of me actually. I'm starting to feel a little bit tired now, but look, let's check the old battery life on this camera here. Top right, 52%. I just charged it on the way here using my portable charger. <laughs> God, just the logistics in my brain to have to have my phone charged. Let's check the phone charge as well, shall we? I've only been charging my camera off of the thing, off of the old um, like portable charger, 19%. I'm not sure if you can even see that. The GoPro doesn't pick up very well. 19% this is. It's held out all right, to be fair, all day, but I'm gonna have to, um, I think, charge it at least a bit to get me home. I can hear music. I see floodlights. Isaac, Jack. And you are the Muscle Bro Ultras, the Mussy Boys. Yeah. What's the best thing about sporting Muscle Bro then? It's like, it's just because it's so close to where we live and it's like, it's a brilliant ground. Bit of pride in your hometown and that, yeah? Aye. And are you confident you can get a win tonight? Aye, I think, I think we'll do it because the crowd will also like, yep. push us. Who are you playing Broxburn, is it? Yeah, Broxburn aye. today. Score prediction, what are you saying? 3-1 Muscle. 3-1 Muscle. 4-0. Jacob, what's the score going to be today? Uh, I think it's going to be 4-1 to Muscle Bro. Enjoy, mate. So Gordon, oh. big yeah, muscle bro fan. Hi. What is it like to see the stands packed out today? Obviously there's the big ground hopper weekend today. This is the last one for tonight's games. What do you think about seeing the stands packed out? What does it mean to your club? It means an uh, awful lot, by the way. It's absolutely brilliant to see a lot of the crowd in muscle bro. I've not filmed a huge amount of this game so far. Just been enjoying the uh, the coffees and everything like that and just chatting to a few people here at the game but it's currently 2 nil to Broxburn here and actually it was Broxburn where we met wasn't it? It was. So we've met each other twice. That's twice, second time yeah. One's here today, one was at Broxburn. <laughs> yes. And, and we're seeing Broxburn again, they're winning again. Yeah, we're winning again. And what are your thoughts on, um, on Musselburgh then as a stadium? It's a nice grip. There we go, so there's the attendances. 553, 462, 607, 507, average of 545. Total 2000. That's good for this level, isn't it? What are your thoughts on the first half? It's not been good. You're well ahead of them in the league, right? And you're losing currently. But what's the best thing about supporting Massey? You're the ultras. The atmosphere. The atmosphere, yeah. I've seen your little flares going off up there as well. And what's the final score going to be? I'll start with here. 3-2 um, Massey. Going to turn it around? Yeah, uh, I 3-2 Massey. 3-2 Massey? 5-2. 5-2. 4-2. 4-2. 7-2. 2-2. Second half's about to kick off. What do you think of the first? Um, I think... Uh, for what I've watched, it was it's been decent. Obviously, we're two 0 down, which good game for the neutral. But Muscle Brand played very well. Uh, nah. And you're the ultras, yeah. What's the best part about supporting uh, the club? Uh, well, I just find it fun just to do something on the Saturday. Yep. Since right now I'm not really. Been... <laughs> <laughs> How do you fans? Uh, I'm not really been doing much football because I tore my ACL. Yep. So this has been like quite a good thing for good me. Good outlet like... for you to come along to this. Yeah. Uh, nice to be a part of something. Yeah. yeah. Three 0 Broxburn. I'm a good luck charm for Broxburn. We first met at Dunbar this morning. Have you done all four games today? Uh, yeah. What have you thought? How tired are you right now? Knackered. Um, <laughs> Knackered. Good time. Sick of football? No, no, no. No, still keen to go go see a few more games. Uh, are you going to yeah. go to the game tomorrow as uh, well? I think so, uh, You're going to go to tomorrow's yeah. one as well. So, yeah. did you go to Tyne Castle last night? Uh, yeah, I me mean, last night. So six games in a weekend, mate. Fair play to you. Some effort. The home teams have had shockers in oh, the I've four unreal, games we've seen today. But it's a penalty to Broxburn now. What do you reckon? Is he going to bury it? I would think so. Uh. There we go. It's full time here and that is four games done in this one day. What a crazy day. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to finish it. I don't know how my outro is going to go. Look at all, all the ground hoppers. All of them have come up. They've got one more game to go tomorrow. I'm not going to be at that one. I'm going to be at home editing this one. But... Look at this, 4-0 to Broxburn, this one. 
some effort gone into today. Right boys, it's been a long day. I've yeah. spoken to you all throughout the day at various times at different stadiums. How are you all feeling right now? Knackered, I just want to sit Can't down. Can't wait to <laughs> fuel my car up for the trip down to South Yorkshire tomorrow. Yep, yep, so you'll need some scran, you're tired, you're knackered. What has been your favourite moment of today? Four games, four stadiums. I like the uh, coming in the first ground, first one. Yeah, it's all been downhill from the first one, has it? No, no, no. Like, <laughs> like, like, I wasn't particularly keen on the last one, I have to say. Well, what about yourself? Like, what, what do you think? Probably when the first goal when this one went in, it's that we have a day without a nil-nil. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, not been a nil-nil all day as well. And so what would you say to people who may want to do a big ground hopping weekend like this? And what does ground hopping mean to you as well? Um, be prepared for it. It's a long day. That's... That's what it means to me is to the chance of Parts of the country, not just football, see the different parts and how they are. Do it as you feel best and just enjoy it. Yeah. Just about having fun. Yeah, and meeting like minded people, I take it as well. Yeah. 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 And then, nice. Uh, and to, to that just now, is the 50th Scottish ground done. 50 Scottish grounds mate, congratulations, nice. Here's to 50 more. It's cleared out now, all the ground hoppers have sort of started to leave, but what a great day it's been. Um, my mind is an absolute mess right now. I'm struggling to even form sentences. My feet are cold, my feet hurt, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I need to get back home. Obviously get this one up for tomorrow, I'm gonna to upload it tomorrow evening. I'm probably gonna do my outro, my proper outro tomorrow, but look, here I am at another non-league ground. Four we've done today, you know how much I love non-league. And to tick four grounds off, brand new as well, what a day for it. I met so many cool, like-minded people. Um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for a roundup. What a crazy day yesterday was. Honestly, so long. And like I just mentioned at the end there, like it was hard to even chat to people at the end. Like my brain wasn't really working very well anymore. And also I'd had six hours sleep from the night before, which again, isn't bad. But then when you have such a long day like I did yesterday, and then I, I got back home at like close to midnight, I think. And then I've literally just been editing the video pretty much since first thing this morning. It's currently half past two. I've still got hours and hours of editing to do. I'll hopefully have it up for tonight for um, after all the football that's on TV. So hopefully you can all enjoy it. So what was my favorite thing about each, gra each ground first and foremost? Um, first off was Dunbar. Uh, my favourite thing about that was the sort of um, local aspect to it, plus the trains. Every non-league ground has something unique about it. And for that one, it was the trains going past. And how good was the moment when two trains both crossed each other at the same time? And it just felt like a really good like local ground for that local town. It kind of felt like it was in and around the houses of the people. And there was a lot of people there as well. Second up was uh, Haddington. My favourite part about that was the sort of really nice town it seemed to be in, or village maybe. I've not really been to Haddington before, so I'm not sure. And just like the nice vibes around it, like I mentioned when I was there, it felt like a summer fate at like a village green or something like that a really nice ground that's what that kind of vibe gave me and also they gave me uh my own haddington scarf which is gonna have to go into the uh, scarf collection i very rarely buy it my own scarves these are all scarves that people have given me at games whether that be like committee members or like fans of clubs um next up was trenent favorite thing about trenent was that was a really nice ground i like the sort of murals on the back and the people a lot of cool people there the young lads the young fans as well bringing a good bit of atmosphere too and the fact that they're going for the lowland league title as well really enjoyed trenent and then finally musselboro the atmosphere at musselboro was probably the best of the day it was a nighttime game fully under the lights i know trenent was under the lights as well but that other one kicked off purely at night so um yeah that felt like a really really good atmosphere in there and um loads of cool people as well really really good welcome for me um, from people like the fans who were there and plus like the people running the club as well who I spoke to off camera for a long time. Yeah I spent the majority of that game just talking to people like from the club at first, especially at first um, I went out and watched most of the second half and the end of the first half but yeah I didn't want this video for you to be bogged down with match footage but I want to say thank you to everyone I spoke to. Obviously I bought a few badges but um, there's a really nice bloke at Musselboro who gave me my own Musselboro athletic badge so I can't remember his name now I spoke to so many people yesterday um, if that was you a huge huge thank you I really really do appreciate it um, honestly so many people came up so many nice comments and stuff so if you're one of them who came on the video even if you didn't come on the video but came and spoke to me said hello honestly thank you so much from the bottom of my heart it really means a lot I'm so so lucky to do what I do for a job and um, yeah I absolutely love it and I'm 
honestly counting my lucky stars every single day that I get to do this. Um, but yeah, the four games in a day, I hope you appreciate the effort um, that went into this one. Like honestly, just so exhausting, so knackering, been editing for hours, still got more to do. Um, so yeah, please do remember to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just check, just check down there. You might think you have, but you haven't. People do often say to me that they thought they had, but they hadn't. So just please do check. Um, I'm going to leave some videos on screen. Again, it really helps me out, really helps in the algorithm if you go from one video to another on somebody's channel. So if you have enjoyed that one, please just watch this or watch this. It would really, really mean a lot to me. Thank you so much and goodbye.